Hello and thank you for joining me again. This time we're going to be doing an installation of OpenSSH or Windows 2022. So I've got on AWS, I've set myself up a Windows Server 2022, I've got a little notepad, I've got the actual server itself, which also confirms it's Windows Server 2022. And what we're going to do is we're going to be SSHing into it from a Linux server. So once we've set it up, so if we try and connect now, we can see that that is just going to sit there and time out eventually. So I'm going to sit there, leave that there. So we need a PowerShell on our Windows 2022 server. And we are, first of all, we're going to check online for the OpenSSH uh, open package. So this is the command up here. Don't worry, I'll put all of this in the description so you can just cut and paste it, copy it as you need it. So let's add it in here. Actually copy it. There we go. Not twice, sorry guys. Right, just the once, there we go. And then that should give us the output showing client and SSH. So we have the client present installed already. So first of all, we're going to install the client, even though it says it's there. I'm going to put this in just for information. Okay, right. There we go. So we already know it's installed, but we'll just see that it shows that it's installed for us. Install the server. There's a command for that. Can't paste that in. Okay, now that's running. So once this runs, we then need to start up the service. So I'll show you how to do that in one second. I'll bring the command over. So this is doing the install. It takes a few seconds because it's got to do the download, then the installation. It's getting there, almost. Okay, so it's now. Right, there we go. So if we now do a check, we did previously where we're looking to see what we've got, we can see that it's installed. We've got the client and we've got the server. So let's start the SSH service, SSHD service. Why doesn't it take my cut and paste anyway? Let's try it again. There we go. Then we're going to try and start it. And the other thing that we need to do as well, just like any service that we start, let's see if that, that says it's waiting to start. Um, we need to set the service to start automatically. So if we reboot the server, we can still connect after a reboot. So something in the Put the command up here. Okay. So let me just try the start service again. So I think we're okay now. So, ah, yeah, the last thing we need to do is the firewall rule. So in the documentation I've checked, there's a script that we can run, which if, it, if it's there, it, adds, it doesn't add it, but if it isn't, it, it sets up a new rule for, rule for us. So again, I'll put this in the, the chat. So this is this little. PowerShell script. Let's run this. So just set the rule up for us. So quickly, while that runs on AWS, I've set up a security group um, to allow for SSH connection to my server. Okay, so the firewall has been created, or it already exists. So that's really cool. Okay, so now this timed out. No connection to port 22. That's what we would expect. So let's see what happens now. Ah, here we go. Okay, so I need my password. Let me just grab that. This. I'm now logged in to a Windows 2022 server via OpenSSH from my Linux server. Now I can do Windows commands. Don't know that many because I'm, I'm normally a Linux guy. Um, yeah, so if you like what you've seen, subscribe hopefully this you'll find you'll find this useful um, I will also add a video of how to now use this with Ansible um, as is my theme on my YouTube channel lots of Ansible stuff um, so this will be like a part one and part two will be then using Ansible to connect and run remote commands against it so I hope you enjoy that um, don't forget to like subscribe tell your friends all that stuff and I will see you in the next video